Why do you think the government is been trying to shrink public engagements or events that would pull huge crowd huge crowds in the country? Why? I'm saying this because there is a contingent of pastors, even Nairobi pastors, that have been complaining, and that is why you see generally Nganga, even, even Nganga was complaining, that behind the scene, the efforts to hold a crusade in this country, especially Nairobi, you need really to go through a lot. The process is very tedious and mostly you declined. Now, in Kilifi, um, Ezekiel Odero was supposed to hold a crusade. And even prior to, that was last weekend, even prior to that crusade, uh, he held some charity program, giving food, some donation, even to the residents of Kilifi. And I tend to see that Ezekiel Odero is one preacher that as much as he speaks politics, but I don't think he even have an ambition of going to Vi. He doesn't look like he has a political ambition. But the red that was supposed to be held, police cancelled. Then, he was supposed, again, it was actually postponed. He had to postpone it after uh, uh, some requests. Then the rally that was supposed to start on Wednesday, again, police now declined. And police declined saying that he requested late, he sent the request late, outside the stipulated time. Now, as that is happening, there is a plan by Azimio Naumoja that is being mooted to hold either a parallel event to the Mashijade celebrations in Jakaranda or to hold a, 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 a mega rally in Jakaranda immediately after the report of the bipartisan talks is received by the principal. In fact, what is expected is that the day Raila will receive the report officially, the Azimio team will be handed over the report officially, they will walk straight to hold a public rally in Jakaranda. This is exclusive. And uh, that is why if you follow the bold, you have that, privi that privilege. I'm still thanking you for supporting the Edwin fundraiser. I'll still thanking you for that. And towards the end of this podcast, I'm going to pin the video um, so that you can follow and you can also have a feel of what exactly happened. Ladies and gentlemen, Raila is getting back to the masses. And the move, there have been attempts to cripple rallies or events that will bring crowds or bring Kenyans together. It's simply because of the public outrage that is going on and the kind of desperation that will be there, the videos of people will turn up uh, the way they've realized that religion has emerged as one of the spaces where now people are going to seek refuge. Um, do not really entertain that. But, I'm back to this. Why the move by Azimio to a uh, hold parallel rally to all hold mega rally in October and I think so far what had been received was in Jakaranda is something that William Ruto team are really reddling. Okay, first I know one thing, the reason why there is this rally is being organized and there are two. One was the first school of thought was it's to be held parallel to Mashuja Day. And the other one is, the day they receive the report, when upon receiving the report, they hold such a rally. So that's what the think tank are saying. Now, what to, of course they would want is to create a euphoria. They would create a constitutional moment from it. 
you know, tell people what they have decided. And of course, they will go with already a position, whether they have accepted or no. So if they are going to take a no or they're going to push a referendum push, it shall have, they shall already had informed decision. So going just to the masses, just to build euphoria. But Royalist intentions are three. The Azmiu team wants to frame the public opinion on the outcome of the talks, respect to the way forward. And the opinion, the public opinion that Azimula Umoja are pushing and they are likely to succeed in it is the fact that the Kenyan constitution needs to be amended. America amended its constitution of just, after just one year. You know. And there are some countries that amend after five years. Our constitution is now 13 years old. Different quarters are now converging at a point that we needed to look at this document. What, where do we need to put a comma? Where do we need a full stop? Which ones do we need to add? Which ones do we need to remove? Which ones do we need to cross? So that it should not suffocate the country. And more likely, I don't know how Kenya Kwanza will counter a narrative against a referendum if they have even allowed the talks to be that much elaborate and extensive in terms of coverage. Number two, the Jacaranda rally would actually get the public traction as Mio is having amidst the Uda failures. Uda's biggest failure is the cost of living. So what people would want is, for, for example, now the big problem is the cost of living. But how are people showing outrage against government? Because from that intelligence point of view, that is where you can craft your messaging moving forward. Lastly, if Kenya Kwanza will successfully manage to play monkey games at the bipartisan talks and it fails to go to the popular vote, then <coughs> Azimio will be left with no option but to pursue mounting Ruto, mounting opposition politics against William Ruto. And that means that they will actually have a hybrid of press briefing and the rallies. In fact, what they're looking for is they're looking for a platform. For example, you cannot call press briefings all through. Rallies is a different model. We meet people one on one. Press press briefings, news news newsrooms are only taking some one or two seconds, some fifteen or thirty seconds. Then not all of us can access it. But rallies are attended by everyone. So I want to look at it. That is the reason behind it. Ladies and gentlemen, I still want to thank you and this is the video of what transpired in Kirinyaga. Hi guys, I am just so exhausted. It's five am but i'm a very happy person to the team bold i am Hapadni kirinyaga yes kirinyaga so where we are if you see the background is um edwin's staff we have managed guys through your support we have managed uh kijana shaige shule we have uh, done the assortments we've also got the form and part of the bill as we wait for uh, and the part of the fee as we wait for the government direction and I just, I think I want to tell you what exactly happened and I want to introduce, this is Ken. Ken yeah. is going to tell us how really this came to be. Tell us maybe how to reach out and yes, whatever. Ilikuwa chali diskubwa, depending na finance, ilikuwa uko umu, na ishu zenye zilikuwa uko umu. Atunge waza kumanage, ju situation ilikuwa tu baya. So, to live in the sun, if you have a Kelvin, you can show Kuna Kona Shinda Nubani. Nashinda was as well go a bonjo, a record to me to me a pesa, Kijana, a liqua, me bongo, Pia, and Yoko Kumeno, a Kaibo Simu, a liquana, Shida, a fee, was as well to me a fee or take pesas or tes and is a Yalqua make up a fee, Zikaisha, a Kuandi, Kumpeleka Shule, Yuko issue, Doa Mugua. Is he, By the way, how is he now? How is the father now? 
father said bando ana take medication ali meza zile dawa eh ana take medication and the mother pia mzazi said pia mwenyewe ametolea tu ameacha ametolea at least say at least pale wako wana feel wako happy wako wanajua hii kitu ni zape eh in place of the lord eh so to the team bold i to be the with your edwin by the way edwin this is the guy by the way this is boy najua watu wengi sana kwa shindo mbona yeye yako wapi edwin ni bua ongelesha bana and i don't know much to say but thank you yes so guys uh, that is what happened we were able to sort out because to likuja late we could not get hostel inside so we had to sort kuptafta nyumba inje so that ataanza inje unajua kuna fresh anza inje but now it a bit sasa ye anza inje so that's why we are here this is where he's going to stay um atakuwa na commit from here to school we've got the phone but one thing remaining is the laptop yeah Yes. So the laptop is the only thing remaining and the laptop I'm going to have and Razer. I believe that uh in the next 24 hours someone will just give us that laptop and uh so that because I'm finding that course that is the only thing that we've not managed and I believe that is going to be done. I want to take this humble opportunity to say thank you. My whole day in Kirinyaga is not in vanity. We have done this as team bold. It's not about me. It's not about it's just about god and we've done it as a team asante ni sana and may god bless you wherever you are i'm going to give you of course more updates this one i think is my best